All right, we are at the tagging booth at AirsoftCon at EVIC 2019. We're gonna look at some stuff here going on. I'm gonna swing the camera around on this one. It's a lot of cool, actually I'm gonna do a little, we're, we're gonna do some show and tell. So I'm with the guys at Tagging. Now these guys have been working like crazy building some new technology. So first off, you probably know they're tagging grenades. These are like kind of pyro based. Uh, you can, they're one time use, they just blow up and they're gone, but they inside, different versions by the way, have a core of BBs inside like this. So you actually have air self strikes. Uh, it just lets you have a reliable, I've used their product for many years and this is all their new stuff. They've actually been continuously improving. They've got different uh, grenades. You can see how this one does on the inside. If you want something a little more visible so people don't think you have the real thing, you can go with the blue route. Um, they also have something a little more airsoft friendly if you want this route. Uh, but all of them are like pull, pin, throw, and go on that. But what most people know them for, or not the grenades, which are super cool, is we're looking at the launcher. So this is, we're looking at the ML36 on this one, right? Yep. So this is a standalone launcher. I'm gonna kinda like do a quick, quick chat. So, shell goes in here, which they have a series of these projectiles with a sleeve that you put on them. Different versions do different things. It's rifled on the inside, lock it in. It is powered by a 12 gram cartridge that lives up here in the, uh, the site. And now I'm gonna show you how it works. So, twist it off. It's got a magnet inside right there that lets you put the 12 gram, the regular just CO2 power lit. It sticks to there and then in it goes. So when it's, you're done with it, you can just sling it away and then grab the next one. You can just sling it your dump pouch. This is how you pierce it. You know, you gotta pierce it when you screw them in. That's the pierce and then the pressure keeps this, if there's one in there, vertical. This sight is real. It is actually accurate and those are in meters out for the tag projectiles. So this actually even deals with the deviation because it has rifling at curves. The little notches start moving to the left to cover that. So if you know your target's at 100 meters, you're gonna put it there. At 130 meters, right there. This thing will go out to 150 meters. And I wanna get this. That's long, and if you guys have watched some videos, Evix got some videos up, I think Novridge did a video with this. It is no joke, this thing legit does that. Then they've got a family here, I'm just gonna kinda get down on my knees. They've got a family of projectiles, so you have some that are impact based, you have, these are chalk rounds, so they'll leave like a pink chalk. This is a fuse. That's the, oh, that's a fuse one. Okay, sorry, yeah, see, thank you, I, I, they know better than me. So yeah, oh, it's the three and a half second fuse version here, and you said you have multiple fuse versions. Yeah, I, uh, we have three and a half and four and a half seconds. Yeah, so three and a half and four and a half, so you can actually time your and delay. Four. And then the dual, this is their newest one. So what's cool about this is, the timer ones are cool, and then they have an impact one, but the impact one they used to carry, which um, I don't think you guys have the impact one here anymore, um, so that one, the thing is if you missed your target, it wouldn't explode. It has to physically hit something to go off, so then you end up with a wasted shot and a dud. This one is a hybrid. So this one is a four and a half second if it doesn't hit anything, like a vehicle or like a building window. But if it does, then on the impact, it will go off. That is their newest product they're looking at. To fit inside of the, the gun, they have a sleeve. They also have this, which is kind of like, you can carry it, it's a rip down pouch. You can have it so you can access it from the side. I'm gonna try to get this. So you have one side open, it's a pouch for your gear specific for their different, so you can actually orient your shells in there different ways. So you can, like, you can have like the three and a half second fuses one way, the four and a half seconds the other. Of course the shells are all color coded, so if you wanna have a chalk round, um, so you know, so you can actually see your fuse right there. You can see your fuse numbers and they're written clearly. So you can access and pick the right projectile. Like, okay, my target's closer, I want a shorter fuse. My target's farther away, I want to have a little bit longer fuse, get that extra second for that travel time for it to get the target. Like, I'm trying to engage maybe a vehicle at like past 100 meters. I may choose that longer fuse as an option or like a group of people out there to get some area of effect. Finally, they've got an HPA system. This is based for the Marui GBB system. Now what they've done, they started with the, the core of the Marie GBB, and then they've gone and created it and converted it to an HPA system. It runs on a tank, so good old HPA tank in line. It's kind of a full reover. They've got the, the, the movable line, so you're not gonna snap it, which is really nice. You're not gonna break that, uh, so you don't have any issues there. They've got their own lower receiver markings, but again, the core of the system is based on the Marui GBBR system. Um, charging handle, let me just go ahead and swing this around. Yep, so you, and by the way, because the fill valve's there, let me see if you guys can see that fill valve in there. That lets you take regular AEG magazines. Check that out. regular AEG magazine. 
Yeah, so regular regular mags on that one. So now you don't have to worry about the special Marui mags or anything like that. You can just like, you know, anybody's mag, any of the good stuff that you have already, put it in there. The also what's cool about this system is too, it's a closed, I mean the kick on it's insane. So let's, let's see if we get some kick. You got a little gas on it? You cannot shoot. Oh, you right can't now. shoot, okay. It's okay, I shot it yesterday, the kick is nuts. What's also neat about it is with that launcher I showed you, you can take the front of the launcher off. So the part half, because that's a two-piece system, and it mounts, here, let me spin my camera back around. It will mount right there in that little... This little claw can be removed, and you can place your ML36 here, and then it uses the same air source uh, for shooting BBs and launchables at once. Right. So basically your one tank feeds your launcher and your gun, from the same tank simultaneously. Also on this launcher too, they, um, the 12 gram goes up top, I was telling you about, but also in the buffer tube, you can get, so I spin my hand. We're doing this live, by the way. Um, as you, uh, in the buffer tube, they have an option where you can put two more 12 gram cartridges in there. The single cartridge is gonna get you about seven shots on the grenade launcher. On average, I mean, you could have more on a good day, depending on the weather and the temperature and the altitude. Um, on which you add into the buffer tube, the two extra, they work in concert, all three work together. It's gonna get you around 40, full power launches before you start to see some power decay. So you, you know you can practice. By the way, you're gonna ask me, well, Jonathan, these things are really, really, really expensive. So you've got what's called the, the Pecker. This is the Pecker round, the PCR dummy. This lets you do training. And this is a fully redesigned training round from the ground up. So you can actually, hmm? A bio? Well, yeah, so I love it. He's like, no, move the camera, Jonathan. You're not doing it right. Here, I'm gonna hire you. Look at this, all right, now I got a real cameraman. <laughs> My arm gets tired. So this one, they've redesigned from the ground up. It's not the original one, so they can actually do it. So you can accurately train so you're not burning your, your expensive rounds you want to actually use for chalk marking to take out buildings or vehicles. You actually have this you can practice and train with to get your shots right, and you can go and fetch them and bring them back and reuse them. They had to redesign this, like I said, from the ground up to have it accurately work with the range and mimic the rest of their products. There's no payload in this, it's just it's what it is, it's just a training round. So anyway, that's it from the booth. We got a lot of stuff, I'm gonna steal it back. Oh, they do have this, they have the battle arena. They're doing like a, a big battle arena. Check this thing out. So what's the website on that? Battle, wait, wait, sign up at battlearena.io. What it is, ballerina.io. Check it out. Um, it is a global competition. Is what it's going to be. Fifteen countries are participating in this uh, this competition, and this year it will uh, the finals will take place in San Francisco, and if I call it was in Antioch, and uh, not only the uh, winners, uh, national winners, will participate there, but any every team from all around the world can come there and play open games with uh, teams from all around the world as well. So that's it. You guys want to do some, again, we're live. <laughs> you guys do some competition, that's it. So that is it from the tag-in booth. You definitely, if you guys are out doing Milson stuff and you want to add some real realism to your gameplay, th this is it. You're playing indoors, you want to clear some rooms, this is it. Um, they're already shipping, they're in the States, they're approved, everything's good. Check them out. Uh, they're going to be at your major retailers. Of course, you can pick it at bbic.com. Uh, but also, stay tuned here. More from AirsoftCon. 2019, pretty much semi live here from the show. Uh, see you guys, don't forget to hit the master sub button and uh, I'll see uh, some more uploads here coming through the afternoon from all the different booths.